Hello guys. Today we're going to go over key questions in 1.2.1 data transmission. You will find this section pretty simple, since what you have to know are the definitions for different types of transmission and the benefits of them. And finally, the benefit of USB connection. I will explicitly discuss the error checking methods in another video. For the questions asking how certain types of data transmission works, think of it as a puzzle. Since parallel and serial transmissions are in different categories to other transmissions such as duplex, half-duplex, and simplex transmission, draw an imaginary table like this in your head. Then identify which types, two types of transmission that you have to describe in the question, which is very simple. So each of the data transmission, like parallel transmission, has two points, and you combine the types you need according to the questions. So to go over the to definitions of each transmission, first we'll look at simplex, half duplex, and duplex transmission. So simplex transmission, you can only get one point by saying that data is transmitted in only one direction. For half duplex transmission, you can get two points for saying that data transmitted data is transmitted in both directions, and it is transmitted only one direction at a time. And finally, for duplex transmission, you can say that data is transmitted in both directions at the same time, which gets two points. For serial transmission and parallel transmission, first you can get two points for serial transmission by saying that data is sent down a single wire one bit at a time. For parallel transmission, you can write parallel transmission uses multiple wires that sends multiple bits of data at a time. So if the question comes up like this, give a two-point description of parallel and duplex transmission respectively. For these four mark questions, you can write, it uses multiple wires and sends multiple bits of data at a time for parallel parts. And for duplex part, you can write, data is transmitted in both directions at the same time. So these four points will get the full marks. That's it, just memorizing. Second key questions are the advantages and disadvantages of serial and parallel transmission. According to the syllabus, you only have to know the pros and cons of these two types of transmissions. So for advantages of serial transmission, it uses a single wire, so it is cheaper to manufacture. Also, there are there is less chance of data being skewed because data is sent one bit at a time. On the other hand, parallel transmission has an advantage of faster tr transmission speed because it uses multiple wires. Now for the disadvantages, write about the advantages in the opposite transmission. But what I mean by this is change the wordings to make the advantages as disadvantages. For example, the benefit of serial transmission is that it is cheaper to manufacture. So for the disadvantage of parallel transmission, you can write it is more expensive to manufacture, which is the opposite, because it uses multiple wires. So if you just memorize the advantages of each transmission, you can automatically memorize the disadvantages of them also. Final question for this video is the benefits of USB. There are questions that ask the benefits of it like this. And there are the points that you can say to get the full marks all the time. So the points that were word from the marking scheme is USB connection is USB is a universal standard and it can be inserted only one way <laughs> and it can power the device and it supports high speed connection. I recommend you to memorize, memorize these four points because these are the points that are commonly accepted. But the question may also ask you to give a detailed explanation about the benefits of USB. In this case, for the first two points, memorize these simple explanations, which will give you full four marks. So for example, if USB connection is a universal standard, it is likely to be compatible with any computer. And because it can be only inserted one way, there is less chance of connecting devices incorrectly. This seems really simple, but you can get two marks separately for this explanation. 
which is so simple. So besides error tracking, these questions are the main questions in this subsection. For solid preparation, I advise you to know one more thing. This is just basic, which is the question made the in the past paper, there may be some questions asking what types of trans what types of transmission does USB use and what types of transmission does IC or integrated circuit use. So USB uses a serial transmission. An integrated circuit uses parallel transmission. I want I just wanted to you I just wanted you guys to be clear of this. You can also write these for the uses question if it comes out somehow. And I hope this video really helped you. And uh, thank you.